up guys it's your boy rob here just left the dollar tree don't go anywhere i'm going to show you a really cool hack with these guys i just picked up hang tight be right back All right, guys, so hey there. Hope you're doing all right, enjoying your weekend. Uh, I'm having a great weekend so far. Last night, in fact, I had a really great time. I hosted a retro game night for the teens in the community here. It's a pretty good turnout. We had about a dozen kids show up, boys and girls. Uh, genuinely excited to play uh, PlayStation 1 and Sega Genesis titles. It was really cool, but in the process of all of that and as amazing as just being a part of that and being able to witness kids still getting, I keep calling them kids, teens, still getting excited for uh, the games that I grew up as a teenager playing um, and how much that meant to me last night and that everybody seemed to have a good time. A lot of the joy that I've gotten out of this has just been going through some of my old video game systems, consoles, old titles that I have for all of them. And uh, one of those being the uh, Nintendo DS, one of my favorite consoles. Mine doesn't work anymore, I think, because I played it so much, I just burn it out. Uh, but luckily, I still have my mom's Nintendo DS Lite, or rather, she has it, so I'm borrowing it at this, at this time to play some of my old titles. But one of the, thing I, one of the things I, I remembered and I realized going back and playing was how tricky uh, navigating the touchpad was as a screen or as a button um, to like look around and to aim and that sort of a thing. Uh, I remember using the stylus for certain games where you had the sword and it was a lot of fun like using that to slash and jump and all of that. Um, and other games where um, your thumb works pretty well, but there are some titles I remember playing where you're kind of like a first person shooter or you're using, like I said, the touchpad to aim and it was almost like impossible just using your thumb. And it made me realize that like when I got the Nintendo DS Lite, that when the DS first launched, I remember it had like a thumb pad stylus that for some reason they stopped putting in the Nintendo DS Lite. I don't understand why. I don't understand why that became a thing. Um, but I remember a friend of mine at work having like the stylus, this little thumb pad thing and the DS and it really coming in handy. Uh, Instead of buying one, one day, I don't know why this just clicked, but I had a bunch of smiley face, puffy, small circular stickers. And if um, you place those on your thumb, they work really, really well as a kind of like a touch pad. Anyway, let, let, me, let me just show you what I'm talking about. So we'll try a little Iron Man here on my mom's DS. Already we see the problem there with the thumb. All right, here we have uh, Iron Man. It's a great Sega game <laughs> for the Nintendo DS here. Now, this isn't awful um, using just your thumb, but it can 
be a bit tricky, uh, especially like on the next level uh, when it comes to firing your rockets and um, and using that little side button here, it becomes a little trickier when you're trying to do both at the same time. And there's a little bit of friction on your thumb. And as you see here, like I'm kind of moving and it's not really like, and I'm pushing down and it's losing, it just, it, it drops out for some reason. It's not 100% smooth. Or completely accurate. But years ago, I found a little hack, which I'm going to show you right now, so hold tight. Let's go ahead and try this again, but this time with the little jewel here. As you can see, it's super responsive. It works just like a, uh, like a stylus would. They don't seem to scratch the screen. They seem to be soft enough. But the, the main part of all of this is how accurate so just real quick you can see a difference here as we pinpoint click 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 so before it was about trying to get your aim just right on your repulsors and your cannons and all that stuff so all right here we go back into iron man here and as you can see now when you shoot it's a lot more accurate don't know why the DS light does not come. With a um, stylus pad that the original DS came with, but as you can see, it's just wherever this goes or your cannon fire goes, pretty amazing. And then once you get missiles. It's extremely easy to tap this little guy down here. And it works with all games. Golden eye action here. Let's get that going on real quick. All right, again, here we have uh, Golden Eye. And again, look how smooth that is like imagine trying to play this with your thumb and running around I mean look at that's just super smooth right there I guess you can buy these for like a couple of bucks at a Walmart or Dollar Tree like a buck 25 and they come in huge packs definitely recommend oh. picking up these if you still like to play the DS uh, but you have trouble with the with the touchpad and then what I'll do just kind of cut these guys 
with the little sheets here, like so. I'm just gonna chop them up. And then actually take these and just stick them here inside. So that way, when I go to play these games, I've already got a few kind of tucked away there. All right, now we're gonna try the game with one of these guys. My thumb here, just place it on there. It stays right in place here. Perfect. All right, perfecto, here we go. It's really hard to like see this through my phone here. Um, but as you can see, much more accurate and no stopping, no skipping. It glides across the pad. It's just like a stylus. It literally does not scratch your screen. Um, you can find little like small puffy circular stickers they work too. Uh, what's really key is once um, once you get missiles, there's no accidentally hitting this part here when you're trying to hit your missiles. Which is the most important, I think, part of all of this here. And this, this will work with any game. Any game where you have to use the touchpad to kind of look around. Um, you can you can do this with all right well there we go you guys that's my little tip hack for the nintendo ds touch pad like i said um it's super responsive it doesn't look like it scratches up your screen i've never had any issues with my screen any more so than the stylus itself would scratch the screen uh, you don't have to press very hard it reacts very well to it so it's not like you're digging these little stickers in and like really jamming them around the screen it's like a very light gentle touch like almost zero effort that you have to put into uh, looking around and aiming and it makes for way way better gameplay I mean you can you can play these games just fine without this little trick but I guarantee you unless you have super long thumbnails you are going to want to try this out with all of your games so if you remember playing some of these DS games and just being like, man, you know, like I remember playing Bond or Dementia and like having like a really hard time looking around and aiming, dust off the covers, run to, to Dollar Tree or whatever, buy you some little stickers, little gems, and use those as, uh, you know, little, little stylus thumb pads, if you will. I still don't understand, like, why would you discontinue something so... I mean, like you're using your thumb. Nobody has like a, a built-in <laughs> like little nub. Well, maybe some people have a built-in nub on their thumb, but not everybody, not not everybody has. So anyway, uh, thanks for hanging out. I hope you liked this. I hope you found it informative. I hope you just enjoyed me uh, breaking out some of my Nintendo titles. If there are any titles uh, that, you know, you, like I said, want to check out and see if it works, I recommend trying it throw down some comments in the bottom there for like some of your favorite titles some of the games you remember playing on the ds and again just thanks for hanging out you guys hope you have a great weekend um i'll see you soon until next time you know don't spend that quarter anywhere else make sure you take care of yourself take care of each other love you guys a lot and i'll see you soon peace out